first of all, let's take the main fabric piece. This is the bit that will sit on the outside of your wallet. Give that a press, that's piece A. And then we want to line up these Decoville panels so that they're right at the edge and the corners, the curved corners are there. Now don't worry if they 100% don't match up, just get them as close as you can. And then we just want to fuse that in place. Now the Decoville has a shiny side, that's the glue side, and that's the side that you want to put face down on your fabric, on the back of your fabric. And it should be the matte side, the non-gluey side that you're pressing with your iron. And don't forget that this isn't an exact square, it is a rectangle, but it's almost a square, so it can get a bit tricky. Just make sure that you're putting that on the right way round. So obviously you want it to fold this way with the sunglasses like this rather than folding this way, if you see what I mean. So you just have to be careful that you do get that the right way round. I'll match up the other piece now. And there will be, that's my shiny side, that's my matte side. It's a bit difficult to tell actually. If I hold it to the light, you can see that's the gluey shiny side. Um, there we are, let's line that up. And you do want to have this spine here, which isn't interfaced or isn't covered with the Decoville. And that spine will allow the wallet to fold in half once it's finished. Next, we want to press the, put my iron on two dots, by the way, not too hot. And you can use a pressing cloth if you like with the interfacing. You can also apply a little bit of steam as well, or a spritz of water. So next we're going to apply the interfacing to the wrong side of the main lining panel. So this is piece A again. Next, the passport pockets and the card pockets. So we've got two passport pockets there. Oh, I thought that was a bit of thread there, but that's my letter C that I marked with the chalk. Looks like just a little bit of thread on there. <laughs> and then we want to just interface those to the halfway point with our interfacing. Just make sure there's no little bits of thread there in the, caught up in the middle because that will cause problems. Put that back down to two dots. In fact, what you can do at this stage is fold that in half. And then you're doing two jobs with one in one go. Doing my second pocket now. Second passport pocket, so there's two of these. You'll notice with this print as well, any, any print that has a direction, because you're folding it in half, one side will look the right way up and one side will be upside down. So that doesn't matter. Obviously, we're just going to use the sides that are the right way up. It looks nice like that. Same thing again with the card pockets. This pocket, that's piece I and then the interfacing that goes with it, which is once again up to the halfway mark. So the interfacing has a rough gluey side, that's the side that you want to go down onto the fabric. You want to hold it for a bit longer than I'm holding it, by the way, I'm just doing it quickly for the camera. I think it's about a seven, hold, hold and press the iron with a little bit of pressure for about seven seconds on each point. And then um, the fusible fleece gets interfaced with the fabric. So the first thing to do is take piece E and you want to fold that in half, wrong sides together, lengthways, matching raw edges. Then you want to do the same with your two passport pocket pieces. So wrong sides together, raw edges matching, 
lengthways fold in half and these pockets are going to layer up eventually like this. To draw a line, so this is my fold my raw edges here of my folded piece. I want to draw a line 1.5 centimeters up from those raw edges and I'm using um, a heat erasable fabric pen. Then you want to unfold that and lay it out flat. So you've got your fold press there and you've got your 1.5 centimeter line drawn on there. Decide which of, your two, which of your two passport pockets you want to be underneath. I'm choosing this one and lay that down on top of your um, pocket piece so that the raw edges, the folded edges there, the non-folded edges, the two raw edges, lay alongside that line that you've drawn. So this pocket sits 1.5 centimetres up from the bottom. Then I want to pin that in place and then I'm going to sew along here at about a centimetre up from the raw edge. So I'm using a universal needle for this, nothing fancy and a straightforward straight stitch. I'm actually going to use the edge of my foot there as a guide for where to sew. And I'm just going to do a back stitch to begin with. And then I'm going to sew all the way along that pocket. So I'm sewing my folded passport, my folded passport pocket piece to my um, document pocket, which is unfolded. If you find that your fabric walks as you sew, just leave your needle down, lift your foot, stroke everything back down, and then carry on. Then finish with a back stitch. And I'm using a pink thread because my machine was already threaded up with pink. The thread that you'll get with this kit is blue just because it matches the um, binding better but I already happen to have pink in my machine which was handy. Now for the second passport pocket so I just want to make sure that I've got that the right way round and this time I'm going to match up the raw edges so the Raw edges of my folded pocket piece are going to match up with the raw edge there. So it, that's how it's going to look. So you have your staggered pockets here. Now that I've got quite a few layers going on, I will just clip that all together. Easier once you start to build up those layers. And then I'm just going to sew along here to secure that second pocket. So I'm going to line up the my foot with the edge there again. These all these stitches will eventually be hidden by the binding. Back stitch to end. So there are my two pockets attached to my other pocket. And that what I've done, what I can do now is now just fold that in half. So you fold that in half and then you want to mark the centre line. Now that should line up with your notch um, or if you fold that in half, then it's just the halfway point. So you can double check if you like but with all your cutting out and interfacing and sewing together of layers that that notch still is in the right place. But it should just basically be your halfway point, which it is actually on the notch there. So we want to just draw a nice line at that notch, nice and square to the pocket. So make sure everything's lined up nicely. And then you can draw that line on there. And that line will divide this one long pocket or these two long pockets into one, two, three, four. So with everything now laying flat and just just give it a quick eyeball just check does that look okay just um if this pocket here isn't you know even all the way across the top you might want to refold repress it if you cut out accurately and your um and your raw edges are all mass matching and you pressed everything correctly then you probably should find that it naturally 
one, two, three, all looks even. And then what we're going to do is sew up through the center here and then align either side to hold that in place as well. Lining up that center line there. Start with a back stitch and then this is going to go all the way up through the middle. So I'm using my, my line that I've drawn on as a guide to follow. I'm just checking, I stopped there just to check that, that the camera is um, nice and easy to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to come all the way up to the end and go nice and slow. And I kind of want to stop when I get to that edge and then I'm going to do a back stitch, a really strong back stitch, about four back and four forward. There we are, so that's nice and strong there. And I followed my line of stitching down the centre. Now I just I take those clips off actually now. Oops. And I just just to hold everything in place, just sort of half a centimetre or so in from the edge. I can just sew all the way up there just to hold everything together. Do the same on the other side. I'll always, even though I've now got the bulk of fabric in the nook, I'll always sort of go from the bottom to the top because then the fabric, if it does get folded, it's got somewhere to go. And I'll, and I'll try and do all three lines in the same direction, just in case the fabric drags a bit. I guess I'm going from the bottom to the top in all three. And that pocket has now been split into the sections and I can just press to remove that line there. So I'll press that now, give it a little press in between each stage and in pressing I'm also removing my pen mark. And that's that pocket panel constructed. And if you want at this stage, just check as you go. I just want to check that my passports um, fit nicely in there, which they do. Even with two of them, whoop, they fit nice and snugly in there. That's all good. And obviously if it was a bit baggy or a bit tight, you could then adjust accordingly. But according to these measurements that I've got on my pattern, that should... Um, fit the passports okay. If you're making this um, with a, another passport, not a British passport, then you may want to double check actually um, before you sew that your uh, passports are going to fit. And if you want to follow this pattern but this is too narrow, then you could just move this stitch line across so you'll have two or three passport pockets here and then you can use pockets on the other side for something else. Or if your passports are slightly smaller, then you could just um, you know, snip this down a little bit um, to fit or just have a slightly bigger pocket, it'll be fine. Um, I'm not sure actually whether passports are all uniform in their size, that's something I don't know, um, but this has been made for the British passport size. Next you want to take your main lining panel here and you want to attach your, pass your pockets to that. Now you can see if I go like this, they don't fit, so that's the wrong way round. So make sure that you've got it the right way round. And you can see now that they're all the right length, the right width. So I'm going to lay that. So I'm looking at the right side of my lining. So I've got my pocket pieces there. And I want to put those on there. And then put some clips around the edge. And I'm just going to secure those pockets to the lining panel. Um, I'm once again using clips just because I have got several layers now. And I find that a lot easier. Um, but you could use pins. My dressmaking pins are a little too fine for this, this uh, layered up work. There we go. So I'm going to now stitch down here, along here and up here to secure the pockets to the lining. And that will give me one, two, three, four passport pockets and one larger pocket there for documentation. If you have six passports in your family, you could always, of course, split all of those. Then you have two, four, six pockets. You can really customise this to um, your, your desires. So once again, I'm sewing right near the edge. Just about half a centimetre in. I don't want these stitches to particularly show on the outside. I'm just going through all layers. 
with the raw edges matching. And when I get to a corner, I leave my needle down and pivot my work. Put my foot back down and off I go again. There we go, so that's now stitched all the way around the edge and that side, so that will become the uh, right hand side of my passport pocket. Once it's finished, that folds in half like so. So we're now going to move on to doing the um, key fob, um, which will sit just here. So before we do that, let's just press this in half and get our center fold. That sounds weird, our center fold. <laughs> get our, our crease that will go down the center there because that will act as a nice guide because you want all of your gubbins, all of your pockets and bits and pieces to sit either side of that crease. There we go. So there's my centre here. So take your key fob tab, which is piece F, F written there, handily, and you want to fold that in half to begin with. Press in half. So I'm folding in half with um, wrong sides together. Open back up and then fold the raw edges into the centre. Same on the other side. Oh, hot fingers, yowchy. <gasps> this, this ironing mat is so hot, it's got metal, metallic elements in it, and my goodness, have like asbestos, asbestos fingers. There we go, fold in half again. Give that a little press. Okay, so that's all now pressed and held. I might just pop a clip on there to keep that, keep that in the right place. There we go. And then what I want to do is just stitch down the edge here um, to close um, that tab. And I've threaded my machine up in blue because actually um, I got away with the pink for the first bit that was already on my machine, but now I kind of want it to match. So I'm using the blue that comes in the kit and I'm just going to sew right on the edge there. Now the blue that comes in the kit matches the binding as opposed to the lining, so it's ever so slightly um, darker, but it does tone in nicely. So just sewing right on that edge there on the fold, on the open edge to close it. Do a back stitch at the end. There you go. So that's just stitched down there. My tab is finished and I just want to thread my end of my lobster clip through there. I love putting lobster clips on everything because they're really useful. You can use them to attach to your bag so they don't get stolen or fall out but you can also attach your keys. I thought of um, this for my house keys so that they're kept somewhere I know where they are for my journey home. Okay so that's folded in half so I've threaded that through the end of the lobster clip and then I folded that in half so that raw edges are matching and then I just want to line that up there and pop a clip on it. So you want this to sit at the halfway point. So there's my centre fold there. There's the top of that pocket. I want to sit that halfway so that that will fold closed. If I put this obviously on the fold, then the passport document wallet thingy, <laughs> what we call in this travel document wallet, um, will not fold in half. So I now want to stitch that down to hold it in place. all um, in place now to the right hand side of my centre and um, that's the right hand side finished now we're going to come on to the left hand side where we'll have our card pockets and you'll see that really the construction is very similar on this side. <laughs> 